Hey guys, so as you guys can see by the title, today I am going to be doing a hamster cage cleaning plus cage tour at the end of the video. You guys really seem to enjoy these types of videos. So I was like, you know what, might as well just film it for you guys because they're super easy to film and you know, y'all seem to enjoy them. So yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just taking everything out of the cage. Um, this is what I always do. I kind of, this one's a little different than the other two because I actually uh, have expanded my hamster's cage, rhino's cage, since the last time I filmed one of these videos. So it's going to be a little longer and the cage is just going to be more exciting in general because there's going to be two now that he can use. He really enjoys sleeping in the smaller cage and then doing most of his night activities like running on his wheel and things like that in the larger cage. So as you guys can see I left about a quarter of the bedding in there from the last time just so that I would keep the same scent. I saw some comments saying that I should mix the old bedding with the new bedding and to not always spray down the cage so I've definitely taken those suggestions to heart and so I'm not trying to clean out all of the bedding um, which is something I've tried to do a lot is I try to sprinkle the older bedding on top of the newer bedding so the reason why you do this is that your hamster uh, is not stressed out as much and they can have a similar scent so um, unfortunately the smaller um, cage it does require me to clean it out more often so the bedding was just a little bit stinkier than the bedding in the larger cage so I didn't really I took out all the bedding in the smaller cage just because it was it did not smell too good so I just added new bedding instead and then I went over to the larger cage and took some of the bedding out of there to add it in so it still have a familiar spell smell for Rhino so yeah as you guys can see I'm just putting in some bedding news story and I need all of you to stop what you're doing so as you guys can see the next thing that I am just doing is adding in some of the new toys and things that Rhino can play with and hide in um, I really wanted there to be like a section of the bin cage since this is really what he sleeps in now that had slightly higher bedding so he could burrow down a lot more and I just kind of corralled that off with some bendy bridges like you guys just saw and then I went into the bigger cage and started deciding what I could do there. I always find it's like so fun to just give your hamster like a whole new setup. And personally, I get bored. I just like looking at the same cage. So I'm sure he probably is very glad when he gets his cage cleaned out, which I try to clean out his cage, not like entirely, but every few weeks. Um, just to make sure that it's staying nice and fresh and I do clean it out at least I clean out the sand bath every day and I try to pick up any poops or any like food that might just be like sitting on the bedding or anything that he might not have eaten from the night before so I do try to keep it pretty clean this time I really wanted there to be a platform where the tube came down since there is that extra opening in the tube and he does tend to go out the higher opening when he is coming down from the tube, if that makes any sense. Um, so I just wanted there to be a platform there so he could, instead of jumping down from the higher opening in the tube, he could just crawl onto the platform. Alrighty, you guys. So I am now done cleaning the cage. It definitely took me longer than it normally would to just do this bin cage obviously because there's two now the wheel will go right here but it's actually currently in the bathroom with rhino just keeping him entertained while i cleaned the cage and yeah if you didn't notice obviously uh, i did have to change this around a bit because this was originally over there 
but since I had to move this over a bit because I didn't really anticipate the tube for some reason I just thought that I could like disconnect it and make like a little tube go right here but I don't think that I will be able to do that so I'm just this is where the um, space for the tube will be and then since the tube is like this and there's like a little outing right there it'll go right onto the platform so I think that that should be good and then I'm using this ladder so he can climb up and use that to get to the platform and climb down. So this is what it looks like. I tried to make it pretty colorful, but it's still kind of natural with the hay and the wood. I'm gonna put the little bit, last bit of his whimsies chew in there so you can chew on that later. The reason why I'm not putting in any other chews is because honestly, he just does not use them. Like I put these three in there last week. He just doesn't really use other chews. I've tried putting a bunch of different chews like the this is like my chew jar and I've tried like every single one of these and he does not chew on any of them. So at this point I'm just like I don't really think that he's going to use them and he has plenty of wood in his cage if he does want to chew. But anyways, so this is it. Um, this is the KT Critter litter pan corner one. And then this is a cheese tunnel. It has like a bunch of different holes in it. And I think it's really, really cute. I have not put that in the cage in quite a while. Sorry about the shadows and stuff. I keep moving in front of the light. So it kind of like messes that up. But anyways, and then we have this rainbow bridge, which I love this rainbow bridge. It's so cute. And then we just have the rest of this millet, which he was kind of enjoying snacking on that last week. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. And then we have the remains of one of these hay tunnels. It's kind of destroyed, but I'm just still putting it in there anyways. Then we have this water dish. And then we have this platform that I made. I don't know why it looks so like dirty on top. I think it should be fine. And then we have this makeshift ladder that I was just talking about, which if you want to go see how to make this and other popsicle stick DIYs, go and watch my DIY hamster toys and boredom breakers video. And then whenever I connect back the tubes, It'll connect and then it'll go over here to this heart-shaped sand bath, which is just like this little dish. I like to give him a sand bath in both of his cages just so that like if he doesn't want to go all the way back over to one, he can still kind of like get to one easy. And then we just have this green tube and we have a water bottle, which I just ran and filled it up with fresh water. I also have this little rock over here so he can not only file down his nails, but he can also, like, it catches the water so it does not get on the bedding. And then we have a rainbow bridge, and then we have another wooden bridge, and then we have another bendy bridge. So this is just kind of like the bendy bridge corner, and it's just kind of corralling in the bedding so that it can be higher over here. And that's his little hideout that I have for him. And yeah, that is the cage tour. I am actually gonna go and get Rhino, put in the wheel, and see what he thinks of it. Oh, there he goes. Checking out his new cage. Sorry, I turned the light down a little bit because I don't want to like totally blind him or anything. So I just put in the wheel. I'm probably gonna have to take the bedding out a tiny bit just so that uh, the wheel is not going over the cage so much and it can actually fit in there. It's okay, buddy. He's gonna have to learn how to use the ladder. Oh, he just kind of flopped. There he goes. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to move that water dish. That is not a good place for it. water over here so he could drink better and if he decided that he wanted to jump off he wouldn't be jumping right into the water so I think that that was a good move he just kind of exploring doing his thing put on the 
lid and this is what the tube kind of ended up looking like you guys can see there's one outing over there for the platform so if he's on there he can go right up or if he's coming down from the tube he can go right onto the platform and then the rest of the tube goes down to the bottom so he can climb up from the bottom and kind of works like that so i think that that's going to work really well otherwise that is kind of it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one bye